I've been promising you guys this video for like, like a month, a month, a couple of months. I'm so sorry, but this is the question video that I said I would get to. Um, and I said, I would, if you ask me questions anytime, anyway, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever, I would answer it. Uh, shoot me a question anytime about anything, about whatever, and I'll figure it out for you. Uh, so my first question was from, oh, she saw her name, but she wants to be anonymous. She's on Tumblr, my Tumblr friend, and she asked me, she is going into her junior year of high school, and she does not know, let me read her, let me read her post. Well, I don't want to read a word for her because she has some private things in there. But she, she basically says she's going into her junior year of high school and she doesn't want, she doesn't know what she wants to major in yet in college. Should she have a major figured out before she goes to college? My and and how does she figure out what she wants to do in college? My response to that is yes, mainly because you need to figure out now one whether or not you even need to go to college because I really feel like you really only need to go, go to college at this day and age if you're getting like a specialized degree where you need that certification, med school, law school, um, just certain areas you're going to need, you're gonna need a degree, uh, you're gonna need that piece of paper. Uh, certain areas you really don't, I feel like if you're going into retail, and, and you have to figure out what kind of college are you going to, are you going to a traditional four year, are you going to an art school, are you going at all? So yeah, I would most definitely figure that out now. I think a lot of the PR jobs, a lot of the tech code jobs, I would not go to school. I didn't go to school for code. I went to school for engineering. I went to school for finance. I went to school for physics. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't major really. Uh, yeah, not in code. Code I did uh, on my own. My poor hair is just, just gonna fall straight through this damn video. So yeah, I would definitely say figure that out now before you even pick your school and then see if you even wanna go to college and then figure out what college. And then now, maybe during the summer and even during the school, see if you can intern and uh, work with people to see kind of like what their day to day is and see if that's a career you would be interested in, whether it's fashion, uh, you know, design, you know, uh, retail and you know maybe get a job at the mall get paid to do something and you know just see the, the day in and the day out I can tell you in the fashion world the people with the most power are the buyers people always think it's the designers it's actually the buyers so you know maybe you want to be a fashion buyer uh, and then branch out and do your own line and that's definitely because uh, you're talking about in your email you're talking about fashion so that's why I'm fashion orientating it. But yeah, I would do that. And, and you might want, you, your path seems to be art school and it seems to be, I wouldn't go to the traditional college. Whoops. I wouldn't go to the traditional college if I was you. I just, you might just end up wasting your time. So yeah. And even, yeah, and even then you, you could, I, you will find a job if you want a job in design and art and and uh, fashion you you will find there are plenty of jobs in that field so yeah it's just about wanting it uh, so that's your question and then if you want to follow and if you want to send me another email if I didn't answer it or if I was too big just let me know Sean Sean you had asked about a phone you said you needed a new mobile phone which one would you get and you're not under contract? I never, I would never go into contract for a phone. The only thing you ever need to go into a contract for is a house, a car, that's it. I would never go into a, con I never go into contract with tech because it changes so quickly. Why would you want to be locked in for two years with anything? That's just, it's garbage. No, never go into contract. So uh, I was looking at prepaid phones and the ones that I like the best because for work I have phones that they let me play with, but I don't really have a personal phone for myself. I just use like my work phone. I don't really, I'm not really that social anyways. I keep my social stuff on my PC and my laptop. So I was looking too because if I wanted to get like a personal phone, what would I get? And I would get, I would go to Virgin Mobile and I would get one of their phones because they have really good price plans. I think it's like 40 bucks a month 
and you can buy a phone for under 100. Derek actually had the, I'll tell you right now, he had the Kyocera Rise, and that one has the keyboard. Now the keyboard did end up breaking it, but he dropped it, so it's his fault. But he had that one, and he enjoyed it, and he liked it um, very much. The camera's not great. It's good if you go outside and use the camera, but the, for low light, it's not great. It's not a five megapixel or anything. I think it's like a maybe a one megapixel. But I, yeah, that. It's, but it's a really inexpensive phone. I think it's like a uh, sixty dollar phone if you're buying. So that one he has. I played with it. I enjoyed it. You can run Instagram on that. I would try to get a phone that has at least uh, Android. If you're going to Android, I would try to go to at least 4.2. Because um, that's like the sweet spot with the pricing. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Ring looks good. The... What else? The Galaxy Reverb looks good too. Oh, but it's sold out. But yeah, so go on that page and see... Like pick a phone from there, and I would I wouldn't spend more than like seventy bucks. Honestly, I just I just wouldn't. It's a phone. It's you're, you're gonna get to Twitter, and you're gonna text the same way as anybody on a iPhone. I just don't, or anyone under contract on a on like a a Galaxy Five. So I don't I don't see the point going over debt going into debt over this stuff. Actually, for personal stuff, I just have like my Wi-Fi phone, and I don't go anywhere where there isn't Wi-Fi. So, yeah, I just use my tablet or something. I mean, I don't go anywhere where there isn't Wi-Fi anyway. So, yeah. So there's your answer for that. Michaela. Michaela asked about editing a video. She wants to start making videos. Yay, Michaela! Oh my God, I'm totally gonna watch that. And she wants to know how to how to edit and what to use. I use, when I first started making videos, my early, early videos, I was using uh, Windows Movie Maker. It's free, it comes with Windows. I would recommend that to you. Now, because that will teach you how to edit, it'll teach you, it's very easy, it's very simple. I would just use what's free. I will do a separate video on actually, technically, how to edit and how I do like my, um, my, my like snapshots, my pictures, um, like the pictures that like are the face of my YouTube videos. I forget what you call it. Um, I'll do like a separate technical video, but I would most definitely just use what's free. If you have a phone, if you're using your phone to make the videos, to, uh, to record and capture, go to like a window or go outside if you can and do it where there's, just put, you just need plenty of light because that those small lenses aren't great with light but if you just give it if you flood it with light they're fine they're fantastic for me i use my logitech the c c920 for it's a webcam it's an hd webcam when i shoot indoors and i use my casio when and this is just like a glorified really nice point of shoot it's not a dslr but if i go to like comic cons or conventions this is what i use but if you have your phone, use your phone. There's nothing wrong with using your, your phone to make videos. They're, they're great for videos, so use that. Um, and use Windows Movie Maker to start. It's The only thing with Windows Movie Maker is you, the new one, I think it's Windows Movie Maker Live now or something they call it. Um, the new one, you, you can't do picture in picture. So you see like when I'm doing like a movie review and I have like, the Sleeping Beauty picture in picture in my video or my outro where it's like picture in picture. You can't do that with Windows Movie Maker. You could you could do that with, uh, I edit now on Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, so that's what I use now. But to start, I still prefer, I still love Windows Movie Maker because it's free, it's easy and uh, Adobe Premiere, what I learned in the cutting and the slicing in Windows Movie Maker, I took that over to Premiere because Premiere just has so much more stuff that you're like flooded with like, <gasps> you know what I mean? So it's it's nice. It's it's, But you can also, and, and it's nice for YouTube, and you can also make videos uh, on Instagram. You can post like 16 second videos if you want to do really like short caption videos. Uh, and Vine six seconds. I I want to do a Vine video. I'm probably just gonna post it to YouTube though. But six seconds, y'all see me. It's so hard to do like 
a two minute video, a four minute video, a five minute video. So like a, a, a seven second video is like, but yeah, so just, yeah, use your phone, f f light, get lots of, you know, turn on all your lights, good lighting, you know, go to a window and Windows Movie Maker is your friend. And I'll do a separate video where I actually will uh, chop up a video, we'll edit a video in Windows Movie Maker for you. But there are lots of tutorials online too and I can link to them for you. But we'll do one together, we'll do one. I'll, I'll do one for you this weekend. So like in a day or two. I'm, I'm starting to edit a lot faster. Like that Maleficent review, I shot it really fast, I edited it really fast. Same thing with my A Million Ways to Die in the OS. I like shot it really fast and I edited it really fast just because it's good now that I'm under like a, a time limit now that I'm like I'm responsible to somebody so now that I'm under a time limit I'm doing stuff really fast but yeah so that's Windows Movie Maker lots of light use your camera phone you'll be great I think the hardest part is still is just just talk about you and what you want to talk about it could be mommy vlogs it could be you know a response to something going on in the world it could be to, you know to the shooting in California it could be to anything we will watch it don't even don't worry too much about the technical side, just talk to us, like talk to us, and we will watch. Um, Alright, so if you have a question for me, this video again, see, this is why I can't do no 7 second videos. If you have a question for me, if you want for you to send it to me any way you like, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, anything, and I promise I'll get back in a timely manner. Alright you guys, that's it for me to quit the Garden Show on us, live long and pass me, I'll talk to you guys later, bye! Hook. I'm down, I think I already told you this, I'm down to like one of the bulbs is only working now on my light. The bulbs are working, just the lamp isn't working, so now I need a new lamp. It's ridiculous.